Hi guys, Matthew here, back with another video. Today, I'm doing my top 10 favourite locations from the whole entire uh, Fortnite Chapter 2. So this location has to be named and it could be in Fortnite Chapter 2 at any moment. As long as it's named, it could appear on this list. Let's get into the video. I also forgot to mention, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. So, coming in at number 10, Weeping Woods. Um, not many people liked Weeping Woods, but I did. It had, it had everything you need. You could get lots of wood. It had two main houses where you could get quite a lot, a decent amount of mats on it and loot um it was quite a nice place and i will miss it if it goes in fact i'll miss all the locations if they go in chapter two and i'm sure most of them go if not all of them will go so yeah it will be sad and i will miss a lot of the locations but yeah number 10 weeping woods so coming in at number nine Dirty Docks, another location that has been here from day one of chapter two. And this location has containers, cranes, uh, buildings. It has a lot. You could get good metal here, honestly. And it's quite a decent location. So, coming in at number eight, Retail Row. Uh, one of the three locations from the chapter one map that was on there. One of the three named locations. And this one, it's been here for the whole chapter two. Um, it's quite a decent place. Um, it's not like full storm. You could really, you you could only you could like take a car and go to ring. It wasn't that hard, and then you could um go to lazy after that and yeah so it's also another nice standing spot so number seven steamy stacks so this place it was good for looting you got some decent loot um and then after that you could take the like stacks the wind i i don't know what you call them um the nuclear thing plant things i i'm sorry i forgot what you call them and you could go up into the air and then you could go it could get you as far as where frenzy forms was and where corny co crops now is it could get you that far quite far indeed um and again another really decent good location Sad to see this go like the rest of them. Number six, Misty Meadows. Like, can I say at the bottom of the map, to get to the locations around there, it's not that hard. You can easily rotate there. You could rotate to Slurpee, to Catty, to Lazy, Lazy to Retail, then the zip line to Retail to Dirty, then Dirty to Steamy. That part of the map, for me, I really like the part how you could... It didn't take you a really long time to get to, like, another bit of the map. Because from, like, other bits of the map at the top, like at Holly, you can't see any of the other locations. But Misty and Lazy, you literally can... You can literally shoot people from there, but that didn't really happen much. Again, Misty Meadows, a really nice location. So, number five, Frenzy Farm. Like, this wasn't in Chapter 2 for too long. It was for there for the first three seasons. But when it was there, I really enjoyed this place. But when I didn't want to land at the same sort of places, I land here. Because this location was so unique. And it was a really nice location. And uh, I really missed it. So, number four, Sweaty Sands slash Believer beach basically um chapter two season seven sweaty sands have been in the game from day one and they just changed the name to believer beach it's basically the same place so there's like a few more posters than that but this place 
it was a good one. It had the um it had the motel from Paradise Palms. It had the little whip house and I did land here quite a lot and it was a really nice location. So coming in at number three is Pleasant Park. It's been here since day one of Fortnite. Of course in um chapter two season four it's called Doom's Domain with like the big haunted mansion. Well no it wasn't haunted, it was just a mansion. Um but apart from that it's still pleasant. This I will be sad to see us go, especially sad for this location. So coming in number two is Lazy Lake. I like, honestly this is probably like the tilted of chapter two. It was a really nice place. I landed here so much and it had so many houses. There's like so many houses here which I would easily land every game. At least seven I'd say. At least. But yeah, now coming into number one, it is Slurpy Swamp. Like, the fact how you could land here and 100% guaranteed to leave with a 100 shield, 100 health. I just loved the idea. I, 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 what I don't like is how they changed it to Sludgy Swamp in Chapter 2 Season 7 when the aliens um, adopted it. We adopted it. That was quite, that was a very sad day. I did make a video on that, in fact. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Slurpy Swamp. When it was still slurpy. What a location that was. Such a good location. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I will miss every single bit of Chapter 2 map. It had very good places. But I think we're ready for a new map. I think it is time for a new one. Because I will miss like some of the smaller locations as well. Like Camp Cod. But yeah, that's it for this video guys. Um, I'm hyped for chapter 3. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.